الله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My dear sweet Islamic brothers and sisters and viewers of social media let's recite through the park upon the beloved and blessed prophet sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad as-salatu was-salamu alayka ya rasulullah as-salatu was-salamu alayka ya habib allah as-salatu was-salamu alayka ya nabi allah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya nur allah excellence of reciting through the park upon the beloved and blessed prophet sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad the islamic brother and the islamic sister who recite through the park in the morning with love and devotion and even in the night with love and devotion on that day allah azawajal will forgive the minor sins he or she committed that day sallu ala al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam inshallah today's topic we're going to discuss regarding eid al fitr once on the day of eid sayyiduna umar farooq e azam radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu saw his son in an old t-shirt sudden by his son's apparent poor condition he radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu began to cry seeing his father crying his son asked dear father why are you crying today he radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu replied my son I'm afraid your heart will break when the other boys see you in old clothes today on the occasion of Eid. My dear Islam brother just before I proceed further just reflect and ponder for just a few moments. Imagine the zakat, the fitrana, the sadaqa that you give to the poor people. How they benefit and how they can purchase new clothes for the youngsters. If you've not paid anything as just yet try to make the intention on giving charity inshallah as they can benefit from this So his son replied moving on Dear father the heart of the one who disobeys Allah azza wa jal and the one's parents should break I am hopeful that Allah azza wa jal will also be pleased with me because you are pleased with me When Sayyidina Umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu listen to it he radiyallahu ta'ala anhu embraced his son and prayed for him subhanallah may allah azza wa jal have mercy on them and forgive us without accountability for their sake the daughters of sayyidina umar bin abdul aziz radiyallahu ta'ala anhu came to him a day before eid and said father which clothes are we going to wear tomorrow for eid he radiyallahu ta'ala anhu replied the same clothes you are wearing right now wash them wear them tomorrow again no dear father buy new clothes for us they insisted he radiyallahu ta'ala anhu said my dear daughters eid is a day when we are supposed to be worshiping allah and thanking allah azza wa jal wearing new clothes isn't necessary you're right father but our friends will taunt us saying that you are wearing the same old clothes even on Eid despite being the daughters of Amir al-Mu'mineen radiyallahu ta'ala anhu saying so the girls began to cry compelled by his daughter's feelings Sayyidina Umar bin Abdul Aziz radiyallahu ta'ala anhu called and asked the treasurer to give him a month's salary in advance but he refused to do so saying Sir are you sure that you will remain alive for another month He radiyallahu ta'ala anhu thanked and prayed for the treasurer who then left without giving money Then he radiyallahu ta'ala anhu said to his daughters My dear daughters sacrifice your desires for the pleasure of Allah azza wa jal and his beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam May Allah Azza wa Jal have mercy on him and forgive us without accountability for his sake. 
dear Islamic brothers, it became obvious the previous two parables that wearing fancy clothes on Eid is not necessary. Eid can be celebrated even without them. Allahu Akbar! How poor Sayyidina Umar bin Abdul Aziz radiallahu ta'ala anhu was. He didn't save money at all despite being the ruler of such an enormous empire. Further, his treasurer was also an honest and far-sighted person who wisely refused to pay him a month's salary in advance. This parable contains ample lessons for us, my dear Islamic brothers and sisters. If we ever want to ask for our salaries in advance, we should also consider as to whether or not will we remain alive for the period of this particular period of time for which we are demanding our salary in advance. Even if we do not remain alive, there is no guarantee, my dear Islamic brothers and sisters, that we will remain healthy and fit enough to work as it is observed that people suddenly suffer from lethal diseases and illnesses and become injured as a result of an accident. If we have a Madani mind frame, we will get caution about such matters. In order to develop the Madani mindset, please travel on the Madani kafilas of Dawud Islami. There are great blessings of a Madani kafila where you get to learn how to rectify your wudu, your salah, your ghusl. All these things you will learn in the Madani kafila. So try to make an intention to travel, to learn the religious knowledge and to prepare for the akhirah. And also, my dear Islamic brothers and sisters, keep watching Madani channel, Sky 746 on your television and gain the religious knowledge through your television at home, inshallah. Azzawajal, and if I made any mistakes in my short speech, I ask Allah Azzawajal to forgive me and to give me amal also and then to preach what is being practiced. Ameen, Ameen, Bijahim Nabil Ameen, Sallallahu Ta'ala Ala Muhammad.